Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Manuela here. If this is your first time, make sure you subscribe and you join the family. Well, as you can see, this is a different type of video. Um, it's not gonna be about makeup or anything like that. It's kind of a vlog, I guess, in a way. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what I eat in a day. And that's actually when I'm on track and <laughs> I decide not to cheat and I really try my very best. Right now I'm working out and I am trying to reduce my body fat and build muscle or at least uh, retain the muscle that I already have. I've been working out for a while now. So the thing is, my problem has always been my eating. Like I would work out so much, but it's such a struggle for me to eat healthy and to eat right because I am a sweet, I'm a sugar junkie. I love donuts. I love, uh, you guys don't understand. I love sweets. I love donuts, ice cream, uh, beignets. Oh my God. I just love everything sweet. Okay. So that has always been my issue. Like I could go to the gym and work out for like four hours and come back here and eat what I'm not supposed to eat. And then that's a waste because a good diet can never be um, my bad a good workout can never replace a good diet you can work out all you want but if your nutrition is not on check you're just wasting your time I had to take my nutrition seriously to another level so that's what I'm doing so right now I am in a calorie deficit and I try to eat about 1200 to 1500 calories a day um, and um, I focus on getting the most protein that I can so I, it is a low carb diet initially, not keto, but I focus just on just eating foods that are really packed with protein and um, that are gonna make me feel full. Uh, a couple of things that I do is I do drink a gallon of water at least every day. I am close to two gallons. I've always loved drinking water. I am so used to drinking um, <laughs> Two, two gallons a day it's really easy for me i've gotten used to it over the years so um that's one thing i do i drink one gallon of water well at least one gallon of water every day and it's amazing you would see a difference if you try just try drinking at least a gallon for a week you're bloating if your stomach is usually bloated you're gonna see a huge huge difference so yeah I also drink green tea at night with a little bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon helps with bloating as well. It's amazing. Try adding a little bit of cinnamon and ginger with some lemon. That is bomb. Okay, so those are a couple of things that I do. I also work out every day, an hour and 30 minutes of weightlifting, and I do about 30 to 45 minutes of cardio, either on the treadmill, the elliptical, or no, I don't do 30 to 45 minutes on the Stairmaster. I, that would be a lot. <laughs> I don't do that. But um, I do do 45 minutes of cardio, 30 to 45 minutes of cardio every day. Um, I do take my supplements in the morning, my pre-workout that I'm going to be showing you guys in a minute. Um, so without any further ado, let's get started. Right now, I'm downstairs. I just came back from the gym. I'm going to go up to my apartment right now. Um, and excuse my messy look, obviously yeah i just came back from the gym i look a mess and i was like ah you know everything is not about being glam and makeup and stuff like that and sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do and i want you guys to see another side of me apart from the manuela that's always putting makeup on you know <laughs> so yeah so um i'm gonna go upstairs right now and make my first meal and i'm gonna make up my, my smoothie and you guys i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna have for lunch and also what i have for dinner okay Okay guys, so here are my supplements. The first one, the one MR Vortex is my pre-workout. Then I have my best aminos, it's a watermelon face flavor. I usually mix both of these for my pre-workout. And then my CLA and carnitine, I mostly use it for recovery, which means I'll drink it with my dinner mostly every day. Another thing I do guys is I drink apple cider vinegar before I break my fast. I usually fast for about 16 hours every day. So this is the first thing I would drink before putting anything in my mouth. Before I drink my smoothie, I would drink this thing. <laughs> it tastes nasty, but you know, yeah. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It has the mother. Make sure you get the one with the mother in it. No. Ooh. Probably. Okay guys, so these are my ingredients for my smoothie. I laid out everything so you guys can see. I have my measuring spoons, my measuring cups, my vanilla extract. Then you have my mango chunks and I make sure that they are unsweetened mango chunks. <laughs> and then I have this mix from HEB, all of them are from HEB. And I make sure I add my protein from BPI Sports 
in my protein so I can get the most out of that smoothie. And I have my zero calorie sweetener from Kroger. Okay guys, let's get this smoothie going. That's half a cup of mango chunks. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my mix and I am going to put one cup of that. So it's basically strawberries, papaya, and mango. I just add extra mango because I, I love mango. <laughs> so then I'm gonna take my organic unsweetened, that's very important, almond milk, and I'm gonna do one cup of that. And can you believe one cup is only 30 calories? That's amazing. Up next, I'm going to grab my zero calorie sweetener. I like my shit sweet okra. Oh, <laughs> so it got to be sweet. I'm going to do four tablespoons of sugar, but it really depends on your preference. You can do one or four, or you can just not even put it if you're not into sugar like me. Then I'm going to grab my vanilla extract and do half a tablespoon. I Well, not a tablespoon, half a teaspoon. I love to put vanilla extract. It just has, it just has that beautiful flavor at the end. Now I'm grabbing my BPI Sports Protein Powder. And the great thing about it is that it only has 3 grams of carbs. So And you get 24 grams of protein. So that's pretty amazing. Time to mix it all together. Sometimes your smoothie is going to need a little help, so feel free to give it that help. It's okay. That's what I'm doing right now. Then I'm just gonna blend a little bit more. Cause I like to I like it to be extra creamy. Like it needs to like it needs to be like ice cream. That's how I know my smoothie is the way I want it to be. And then you guys feel free to use spinach. I don't like to do veggies in my smoothies, but some people can use spinach and or even nuts. But yeah, now I like to cut up a strawberry, put it in my cup, and just pour my mix. Mm, it looks so yummy. Yes. I drank it in like two minutes, guys. I'm getting everything in because I counted my calories. I'm not leaving nothing. Nothing. And here's a yummy smoothie. And I did put the number of calories and the macros. You have the carbs, the protein, and the fat. So there you go. It was so, so good. Okay, guys, it's lunch time. So I already meal prepped my food, thank God. <laughs> so we have brown rice with beans, extra lean ground beef. I'm talking about 96% and 4%. We have some lemon in there, some beans, some corn. It was really tasty. 415 calories. 59 grams of carbs, 20 grams of protein, 23 grams of protein, and 5 grams of fat. It's a nice packed meal, so enjoy your lunch. It's dinner time, guys, and we are having a big-ass salad. <laughs> it's literally what it is. I have some green lettuce in there. We have a boiled egg. We have um, some carrots, shredded carrots, some grilled chicken, we have some tomatoes, some onions, and then I like to season my salad. There's some salt and pepper in there, and I use this wonderful dressing that I love. It's low in calories and fat. It is called drum rolls, <laughs> wishbone, light creamy Caesar, and it only has 60 calories for two tablespoons, which is all you need really for a salad. So I'm about to enjoy this, okay? I'm about to really enjoy it. <laughs> okay guys, we've had a wonderful day. So what better than to finish it with some good tea. If you don't know, Health Aid Kombucha is great for digestion and it's full of good bacteria. It will cleanse you out. It is really good for you. I love the ginger lemon flavor. So apart from that, <laughs> I like to drink it in my little teacup and I drink it cold and it tastes okay. It's not the best, but it's really good for you. Don't forget to sip on your water, drink that gallon of water. That's what I'm doing at least, you know, get that water going. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah! Don't forget to subscribe.